welcome back to Bosco campus session. In this lecture series, I am dealing the paper Language Skills, which is a general English paper for first semester UG students of Kerala University. In today's video lecture, I am discussing the first lesson of fifth unit of third module. It is an essay titled The Tsunami of December 2004 and it is painted by Amitabh Ghosh. And I hope you heard about Amitabh Ghosh. Amitabh Ghosh is an Indian writer. He was about the environment in his writings. His first novel was The Circuit of Reason. His writings deals in the epic themes of travel and diaspora, history and memory, political struggle and communal violence, love and loss, etc. So all these different themes discussed in his writings. His first novel was, as I mentioned, The Circuit of Reason. And there was a non-fictional work painted by Amitabh Ghosh and it was titled The Great Derangement. His other important works include The Shadow Lines, The Calcutta Chromosome, The Glass Palace, Hungry Tide, etc. So, in this particular essay, this is actually an extract taken from Amitabh Ghosh, The New Yorker, essay titled The Town by the Sea. So New Yorker is a magazine so he published this particular essay under the title The Town by the Sea. And here you have prescribed only the extract of this essay. The tsunami of 2004 is a memory that Indians can never forget. The people who lost their dear ones still live through the, those memories with tears in their eyes. And I hope you also heard about the tsunami in 2004. Now, let's go through the short summary of this particular essay. This essay was actually, we can read this essay in the form of a short story. Here the writer Amitav Ghosh tells us, the director, he, he didn't mention any of the names, but he says the director, he was in Port Blair on 25 December 2004, on his way to Delhi. So this may be this director was a friend of Amitabh Ghosh. So as he was going officially, he had left his family in Malacca. That night he stayed in Hardo Circuit House. And the very next morning he felt the earthquake shaking the floor of his room heaving. So he ran out to save himself. At that time he received a call from his wife in Malacca and after the ground stopped shaking, he tried to call his wife but could not reach her. He observed that the water in the harbour had begun to rise very rapidly. So he ran to the higher ground with other people to safety. He was reminded of the fact that the Karnikobar Islands were low-laying islands and he grew anxious. He called the government office at Karnikobar, which had satellite phone and learned that Malacca was badly hit and there was no news about his family. In the afternoon, he came to know that his 13-year-old son had been found clinging to the rafters of his church. The family home had been swept away by huge sea wave. His wife and daughter could not be traced. The director managed to come to Malacca. He searched for his wife and daughter among the rubble and but found only some of their possessions. In this essay, Amitabh Ghosh narrates the director's search for his wife among the rudiments of tsunami. This is actually an extract taken from Amitabh Ghosh, the New Yorker essay titled the town by the sea. So New Yorker is a magazine. So he published this particular essay under the title The Town by the Sea. And here you have prescribed only the extract of this essay. So in this particular essay, he wrote of the environmental devastation, the physical destruction and the unendurable tragedy tsunami. And here Amitabh Ghosh describes a middle-aged scientist, a man referred to merely as the director, who was travelling to the town of Malacca 
to look for his wife and daughter among the few survivors that had been found. And he had left his family in Malacca, but an unexpected incident took place. A tsunami followed an earthquake. So it was in the year 2004, December month. So when the scientist was in some other place, there was his family was in Malacca. And what happened there was an unexpected incident happened. That was a tsunami followed by an earthquake. So after that incident, he contacted his son. And uh, he made that contact through the officials and came to know that his wife and daughter had died in the uh, died on the spot while his son saved himself by holding on to the rafters of a church. And by seeing the wreck and debris caused by tsunami, he got shattered. The tsunami had left parts of nature and unharmed while selectively destroying man-made property. And through this essay, what Amida Ghosh is trying to say that tsunami unharmed the uh, naturally existing things and harm only man-made property. And he noticed, the scientist noticed that his house and the nearby town were washed away in the tsunami. And he got a yellow paint box of his doctor, which he never picked up. In an ultimate act of sorrow, the father left the only memory of his dead daughter where he had found it and returned from Malacca. So this particular essay gives a striking experience of the loss and trauma caused by tsunami. Okay my dear students, with this I am concluding. Since it is a, it is a comprehension activity, you have to go through the original essay that is given in your textbook. Read the essay thoroughly and try to answer the questions attached at the end of this video lesson. Don't forget to send the answers through the WhatsApp. Thank you. Have a nice time.